Ten-year-old Laika Gairanod lives in a two-story home with her parents and eight siblings in a gated community with space to play and a garage for their car. All of this a stark contrast to just one year ago when they were living in a shanty and Laika was helping out her mother scavenge for used bottles and newspapers. She would even stop at people's homes offering a song in exchange for money or food. As a contestant in the Philippine version of the amateur singing contest The Voice, her story captured the hearts of Filipino viewers. And when she won, her family's life changed overnight. Um, po, sobrang saya. I'm very happy. First of all, I was able to get a house like this. We no longer live in a small home, and it no longer gets flooded when there's a typhoon. And my siblings are able to go to school, and me too. I go to a good school, and I was able to buy us a car. Cool. Yun po, at saka po, yun po, naka, nakabili na rin din po ako ng sarili ko pong sasakyan. Yun po. In the Philippines, where a fourth of the population lives below the poverty line, singing offers a way to earn a living. Some children get their exposure to pop music not just on TV, but also at these ubiquitous video key stalls. Many children are idolizing Laika, whose singing career is taking off. Her first solo record, which has sold thousands of copies, is called One Can Dream.